All right. So I'm just going to show you like a basic coding you can do. So I'm going to make like uh, four parts here. So this is like a part, if you don't know already, you can anchor it here. This one anchor it, this one locks it in place when you play test it, because this one will fall off basically if you, can't anchor, if you don't anchor it. So when you anchor it, it locks it in place. You also have to reselect this if you want to touch it again. And for the base plate, you can't really touch it here. That prevents from the base plate from moving. So if you see here, this one's locked here. If you look in the properties right here, right here, and uh, locked. Did you? Yeah, I can leave it. I just wanted to show like how it works. You could just lock pocket. So here, I'm going to make like four, four to three obstacles, like jumping spots. One, two, and three. And then just put the platform up. Then you can just go here and play test it. Check if it works. There you go. So there's something really cool. If you look at this part here, you can check the you can check and mess up with the transparency, like change it. You can change it to like 0.5. Well, no. If it goes to like one, that means it's perfectly invisible. If you use decimals like 0.3, it's kind of like see-through. So you can make this. You could can collide it, can collides it right in the properties part in collision. When you do this, that means the player will not be able to will walk basically through it. So you could make like a hidden wall in your game if you wanted to. But we're going to code that now. So here, let's revert that. We're going to insert that here. For, for scripting, you can insert script in server script service if you want, if you want to be organized. You can put it right inside the part. So I'm going to name this part. The, um, I'll just give it a name, something different. Here, we name it to an apple and just color it red. And then you insert to the script here. If you don't know, like you, there's like this plus icon shows up. Press that, and you have the script here. Local script is when the script only happens for that one specific player. And then script itself happens to everyone. Like it's it's like an event. So it's like if I do something, make this color turn blue, the color will change change blue. But if it's a local script and I press like some button in the game, it'll only happen for that one player. But we want to do script. You could also do that for like lava spinners, so it could be delayed for other players. So print hello. So if we go here and open the output here, here, the output's already open, it'll just print hello world. I'll play, say right that there. Now we're going to make a variable. Oops, what happened? Put that back. There we go. So we're going to make a variable, and we always start with local. Local. And you can name this anything. So people usually say variable. You can name this anything. You can name it like an apple, pear, sus, anything. So here, I'm going to name this part. And then you have to distinguish. You have to say, like, what's this part? So we go to part equals workspace. Workspace is right here. And we get to do dot one of the following things here. You could do dot server script service or, and such, but we're going to do apple. There we go. And we're going to create a while statement. So while true, this means like this will just keep going on forever. Do. And there's no brackets in Lua. It's just kind of like end. End, it just ends between here. So here. Let's do a basic thing. Part. Let's do 
So you can do weight or task.weight. Task.weight is way better than weight because it doesn't delay. Weight usually delays. So you tell it to wait three seconds, it'll wait three seconds. Is that a period? Did I mess up on something? Should work. There we go. Task.weight. And then we're going to recall this part here. We're going to name part dot transparency equals zero, one. So if we look here, where did we get this transparency from? We're calling it right inside the part. Inside the part, we'll look in the properties again. And we go to here, appearance, and it's transparency right here. So now if we run this, once we wait for three seconds, it should just disappear. Now, the thing is, the player, if we play test it here, we want to make it so it's like it reappears and disappears, but we also want to make it so the player can fall down. So we go here, and we just go part dot can collide. Can collide's the collision. So if we go here in properties, here, let me make it here, and can collide is in collision. Can touch might be something for coding, collision groups, default. Can collide is can the player collide with it, or can any other objects collide with it? Because when you unanchor this, this could also collide here. Duplicate this, and you go up right here. You unanchor this, and this one will also not go through it as well. So it also apply, doesn't apply to players as well. So we're going to go here. Can collide uh, equals false. So you say if it's true, that means it's a solid. If it's false, it just goes right through. You could also make like an obby where you use your camera and you can put your camera backwards like let's say you're the player here. You can actually, when it can collide, is false. You can actually see. Here, see? Goes through. If it was like this, this one's kind of like interrupting you. If it's can collide, you can go right here. Here, this one. So you see this one? This one's can collide off. On, on. And if we go here and disable can collide, you can see through it. You could also interact with the game while you're playing. Mistake is that some people, when they play, they're play testing it, they forget to pause to stop the game. So stop the game because your stuff doesn't save. We go here, false. And then just wait three seconds. And then we just do the exact opposite. So transparency zero and can collide equals true. Here. And then we are gonna click here. So you can play test or play here. Play here is you play that specific spot where your camera is. And if you run, you just do it in the third perspective and you can actually see it working. So you wait for three seconds, and then it should come back. And then it repeats, because it's a while statement. So it's while true. Now, I don't want to do this, because this might crash Roblox, but if you don't have a wait here, like a wait at all, because uh, 